Hey guys, it's Rally here and welcome to episode 10 of Let's FIFA 17 and uh, we sold on a bunch of the items we had laying around in our club and we ended up with 144,000 coins and then I went out and spent 13 thousand of those coins uh, to complete two squad building challenges in the League and Nation Hybrid Squad Building Challenge Group or whatever you want to call it. So I complete the not easy one by building a Russian League and a uh, Turkish League squad uh, and that was pretty cheap to build. I got a gold players pack and 1500 coins and then I also complete the medium squad building challenge uh, with a league on a Portuguese League and a La Liga squad basically. So um, for 13,000 coins, I got a couple of packs and I could not complete the hard and the ultimate one yet because you need loyalty for these and uh, we are quite close to completing the ultimate one. I haven't really shown you how that squad is looking right now, but I've been using some of the players I've been getting from packs to put into that squad. Uh, but we still need a couple more players with loyalty. Anyways, we went out and opened up our packs and the first one we actually got Oscar. And that is quite nice considering there was only one rare item in this pack. And that ended up being an 83 rated Brazilian BPL player in Oscar. That is definitely not too bad. I was pretty happy about that. That was not a bad pack at all uh, considering there only was that one rare player. And the next one we had three rare items and actually... It ended up being a better pack, as, as you would assume, uh, with more rare players being in it. And we got Shaka, 84 rated BPL player. So two quite good packs with players that at least will sell for a fair bit, I'd say. We also got David Villa, a player I actually ended up using in my squad building challenge. I had Shiru into the ultimate squad building challenge, but I swapped him out with David Villa, uh, such that I could sell on Shiru and uh, also use a different BPL player in my squad building challenge. Um, and I, I won't be showing that squad right now for the ultimate squad building challenge, but it's coming along quite nicely. And once it's done, I'll show it to you. But I sold on some of my BPL players and then did some trading with some, Bra uh, not Brazilians, some Italians. And uh, then I actually went on to um, uh, list up my um, my squad, my Russian League, Turkish League squad. Now, I only played one match with it, but I didn't feel that confident when I played with the squad. And at this stage, I had so many coins that I thought, you know what, let's go out and spend them. And at the same time, get some players in that we could get loyalty on, basically. So uh, I got Di Maria in, uh, the most expensive player in the squad now. A little bit under 75,000 coins. The cheapest one at the time was going for 80,000. So I was pretty happy about that pickup. I got Costa in as well. And then I picked up Papa. And I also picked up uh, another player, which, uh, which mission was sort of the same as Papa's. And that was to get a loyalty on. And the player I picked up was Fabinho. He is one of the players I want to use in my squad building challenge as well. So I know what you can do is go play offline games and get loyalty that way on your players. But I kind of want to... Um, I kind of want to do it sort of more the real way instead of going offline quitting matches. I just want to play games in divisions and then get my loyalty that way. So the aim will be to play around 10 games with this squad and we'll uh, get 10 games, play it with Fabinho and Baba. And once they play that, I can complete my squad building challenge, basically the ultimate one. And I think you get a 50k players pack for that. So uh, that was sort of my aim. And apart from that, I built a squad around the uh, wants to watch Giuliano card, uh, a bit of a skill squad to try out in the divisions with some pretty good skillers, I'd say. Um, and thus, we'll jump into Division 8. And it's Costa with the first chance here, but couldn't quite get the shot and pass the keeper. But we were sitting on things in this match, and it's Di Maria on the ball. Lovely little skill. I love the V-Drag. It just looks so good. It is deflected. Falls to Costa into the middle, but we could not put the ball into the back of the net. 39th, and yet again on the ball. We find Fabinho, and he had tried to use the shielding just to test it out. Worked pretty well to uh, sort of keep the defender away. A little fake shot to turn around and thus we were up 1-0. And, and Costa on the ball, we really do like him this year. He is rapid and he just feels way better than last year. Didn't quite like his count that much this uh, last year, but this year he feels really, really good on the ball in my opinion. Uh, and we continue on here in the second half. It's Di Maria on the ball. He cuts inside here. A lovely run from Mauricio. He's on through and I tried for the chip, but not enough power on it to beat the keep on fortune. Di Maria onto Giuliano, Giuliano into the box. Yet again, we use the V-Drag, but the shot not really going in at the near post there. And then in the 90th minute, 
Oh, he hits me on the counter attack and 2v1 situation here. I tried to sort of run for him and then I changed direction to try and cover the pass across. And as I did that, he passed it across. So that was pretty lucky because had he taken another touch, uh, I had been running away from him and he had had an open goal basically or one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. But luckily, he passed it right into my feet and I didn't concede. I got the victory. And thus, I'll be sitting on six points from two games in Division 8. And we jump right into another one. There's a couple of players below 90 fitness and I usually like to have my players on 90 fitness or above but I thought you know what let's just play another match with the squad it did play very well in the last match was controlling uh, most of the game and I thought let's see if we can do it again and we come up against a Bundesliga squad this time around in a 4-3-3 formation here and it was sort of the same picture as the last match i was sitting on most of the play here it's Di maria on the ball a little bit lucky to get possession back but he breaks into the box we try for the roulette shot but it is blocked off and pretty much right after that he did unfortunately go on the counter attack one of the few chances he had and he was clinical he scored and it was one nil but we were not the ones to give up we were going to try and come back into this match giuliano on the ball here he stops up in behind the defender takes the shot but not on a target. On to Giuliano yet again. A couple of skimmers here into the box. And there was just so many players in this defense. Uh, and we kept creating chances. But we couldn't quite put the ball into the back of the net. Here we hit the crossbar. But then we went into the second half. And I really liked this chance. Some good pass and move play here. Pretty much everyone getting on the ball. Either taking one touch or making first time passes. And in the end, we find an open Giuliano who would score and finally bring us even in this match. And I thought, now we're going to push on for the win. But my opponent's second chance of the match was another goal. And it was pretty much right after I had scored. So 2 1 to him. We hit the crossbar yet again. And I was um, a little bit frustrated at this stage. Uh, we created a lot of chances in this match. He has gone a lot. Not really the guy to shoot. It's saved by the goalkeeper. Another chance. 75th minute. Mar Mauricio on the board. Onto Di Maria. Di Maria turns his defender, takes the shot, the post, and the rebound is saved and uh, yeah I didn't score my second goal very frustrating game to lose we're sitting on a record of 15 wins one draw and one loss so getting another loss I was a little bit annoyed a little bit annoyed because I like my nice record here in the start but in the end it doesn't really matter too much about the record but you know when you're in the start of FIFA and you have that clean slate you always want to try and keep it as nice as possible in the start so unfortunately we lost there and uh, we had um, to try and see if we get three points with our Serie A squad in step. The final match of this episode. And we got matched up against a Serie A squad as well. And uh, we start off the game here in the 37th minute. He played Park the Boss right from the start. So not too many chances uh, in the beginning of this match. It was mainly into the second half we started creating stuff. Um, and here we break on through Medell. And in the end, it will fall to Jovetic trying out a shot but blocked off. 51st minute yet again on the ball. Fernandez here bring it forward to Cuadrado. Cuadrado with a couple of skill moves into the box. But in the end, the shot is just too weak. And is saved. And then my opponent uh, got forward. He, he was playing on the counter attacks. And he took a shot saved by my goalkeeper. And uh, the next big chance he's got was going to be a goal. A very frustrating trying to break down a park the boss for an entire match and then concede. Um, and that is just very, very frustrating, especially on the back of a loss. I was trying to get back into the match here, get a goal, but I could not break that park the boss down. And thus, I'll lose my second game in a row. Uh, and I was quite disappointed at this stage, um, going from a nice winning streak to a losing streak. Um, not too happy about that. Not the best note to end off this episode, but still, uh, I think we got two very, very nice squads, and they'll def definitely be able, able to pick us up some wins as we go forward with this series. But for now, we're going to end it off here, guys, and I hope you guys did enjoy that we finally got a bit more gameplay and we build a nice little skill squad, and in the next episode, we'll play a whole lot more, maybe do a bit more trading as well and that is pretty much all thank you very much for watching and i'll talk to you guys later